married women and mothers need not apply. And that's not the only controversy associated with the Miss USA beauty pageant. Did this contestant really have the contest rigged in her favor? For years, the Miss USA pageant's strict requirements excluded women for arguably unfair reasons. Historically, these requirements resulted in a lack of diversity among contestants. One of the most shocking requirements could be found right on the pageant's website until recent years. The site's frequently asked questions page, previously read in part, No, contestants may not be married or pregnant. They must not have ever been married, not had a marriage annulled, nor given birth to or parented a child. The title holders are also required to remain single throughout their reign. Finally, the Miss Universe organization announced in August 2022 that it would permit mothers and married women to compete, starting with the 72nd pageant in 2023. Although Miss USA pageants have revisited these requirements, this doesn't change its discriminatory history. According to the Washington Post, these pageants even excluded women of color in the past. The first black Miss USA, Carol Gist, wasn't crowned until 1990, a whole 38 years after the Miss USA pageant took place. The competition has become somewhat more racially inclusive in recent years, as reported by the New York Times. Miss USA contestants have to deal with the pressure of maintaining a squeaky clean image. Tara Connor, who received the title of Miss USA in 2006, faced backlash after she failed to maintain this perfect image. According to People, Connor risked losing her title after it was revealed that she had been using drugs and drinking while underage. Soon after the scandal came to light, Connor checked into a rehabilitation facility to receive treatment for her substance use. The following month, she opened up to People about the extent of her experimental drug use. It's hard to look back at that. I was an equal opportunity user. I would try anything once. The runner-up for Miss USA 2006, Tamiko Nash, would have taken over Connor's title if it was determined she was no longer eligible. Nash revealed how she felt about her competition getting a second opportunity. She told ABC News, If I were in this situation, I myself would want the benefit of the doubt. I would want a second chance. Former U.S. President Donald Trump became co-owner of the Miss Universe organization in 1996. He moved on from the company in 2015, but only after numerous allegations of his reportedly inappropriate behavior towards contestants came to light. Miss Teen USA is affiliated with the Miss Universe organization, and a number of former teen contestants came forward to claim that Trump had inappropriate interactions with them as well, as reported by BuzzFeed News. Former Miss Vermont Teen USA Mariah Beato, for example, claimed that the businessman walked in on contestants in their shared dressing room. She told BuzzFeed News in 2016, I remember putting on my dress really quick because I was like, oh my god, there's a man in here. She claimed that he then said, don't worry ladies, I've seen it all before. Trump himself seemed to detail similar instances during an interview on The Howard Stern Show back in 2005. He told Stern, well, I'll tell you the funniest is that before a show, I'll go backstage and everyone's getting dressed and everything else, and you know, no men are anywhere, and I'm allowed to go in because I'm the owner of the pageant, and therefore, I'm inspecting it. The 2022 Miss USA pageant was at the center of controversy after Miss Montana, Heather Lee O'Keefe, took to social media to reveal that she and other contestants believed the competition was rigged. While Miss Texas' Arbany Gabriel took home the crown, O'Keefe explained that she felt the win was pre-planned, saying, Most of the Miss USA contestants feel very strongly that there was favoritism towards Miss Texas USA, and we have the receipts to prove it. Miss New York Heather Nunez chimed into the conversation via Instagram stories, writing in part, The way I entered this pageant and gave it every last bit of my heart and soul, we were humiliated thinking we entered something with a fair chance. In a separate video, O'Keefe pointed out that Gabriel received services from NIZUC Spa, which is affiliated with Miss USA sponsor Mia Beauté in July 2022. According to the Miss USA website, the pageant winner receives complimentary services from Mia Beauté as part of their prize package. However, O'Keefe alleged that Gabriel visited the company's spa before she was even crowned Miss USA that October. 
which she suggested was proof the winner was chosen in advance. Another former contestant, Jasmine Jones, shared a series of TikTok videos in which she claimed that competitors seemed uninterested after Gabriel was announced as the new Miss USA, further alleging that this showcased how something seemed off with the pageant. Gabriel had her own response to the allegations. It was not rigged whatsoever. I didn't have an unfair advantage or knew that I was going to win. The Miss USA organization likewise denied the rigging allegations. In January 2022, it was revealed that former Miss USA Chesley Christ died by suicide after she fell from a high-rise building in New York City. The 2019 beauty queen's tragic death sparked conversations about mental health among beauty pageant contestants after her mother came forward to reveal she had been dealing with depression. Her mother, April Simpkins, said in a statement, Chesley led both a public and a private life. In her private life, she was dealing with high-functioning depression, which she hid from everyone, including me, her closest confidant, until very shortly before her death. Simpkins had more to say during an appearance on Red Table Talk that May. Speaking about Christ's past suicide attempts, she revealed, It was after that first attempt that she and I grew very close, and I wanted her to feel comfortable calling me. Simpkins also spoke about her late daughter's high-functioning depression. Depression is not always marked by someone laying in bed or unable to do things. You know, there are people who are high-functioning who can get through the day because they wear the face. And we all are taught to wear that face. And Chesley wore the face. If you or anyone you know is having suicidal thoughts, please call the National Suicide Prevention Lifeline by dialing 988 or by calling 1-800-273-TALK-8255.